TV to bring my picture, uh, pictures of my dog, uh, to have it done in a collage, and also a picture of my great grandmother's family to have it restored. Hi Peggy, how are you today? I'm fine. I came today to bring pictures of my dog that just passed away and I oh. wanted to make a collage. Okay, what is the picture? I have it on a flash drive, okay. all the pictures, and right. I also have a picture of my great-great-grandfather and their family that I got from a second cousin. Okay, so all the pictures are here. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put in a computer and we can go from there. Okay. Uh, this one you can see all down here at the bottom and up, it just needs to be fixed. This is Richard Turka. I was sleeping and the dog was sleeping next Aww. to me. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. right there it will need to be taken out yes. right there. You want these scratches out? Yeah. I mean these stickers out? Right. Yeah, we want to make a very nice collage for you. Okay. I am Peggy Narjumente. I was born and raised in American Fork. I now live in Pleasant Grove. And the picture is uh, my dog Onyx. I, I have several of them from when he was a baby till uh, the last one I took is in January of this year. And my dog passed away in April, so I wanted to do have a picture collage of my dog to put up on the wall next to uh, the ceramic pot that I was given by the people that uh, put him, put her down. We got the dog when she was a baby in 2001. And then of course the last picture is in January of 2014, and that was the last picture of her. My husband taught her that if she wanted a treat, she had to go to her bed. And, and so he would say, you want a treat? And she would run and jump on her bed. And, and so when, uh, after he passed away, and she would see me getting ready to go somewhere that I was putting on makeup and stuff, she'd run and get in her bed, because she knew that when I would go somewhere, I would give her a treat, because I was leaving her. I have a little great-grandson that uh, love to play with her. And we live behind the elementary school. And when the children would come up to the fence, she would run and bark at them so that they uh, would know it was her place. And so my little uh, two-year-old great-grandson, he'd run up to the fence too and bark also. <laughs> uh, she had a uh, uh, cancer in her belly and it had busted open and they, the vet said they would not heal and that she would be uh, had to be operated on to get it all out but I knew she couldn't go through such an operation with her how old she was because now she's passed away I like to see pictures of her in my home and put it up with her paw in remembrance of her my great-grandmother, Mary uh, Lorna Stewart, and it has her uh, whole family with her father, William, and mother, Cynthia, and her brothers and sisters. There is two, there is one sister and one brother not in the picture. She had 12 brothers and sisters, but two of them died as small children. Uh, Mary was born in 1874 in Central Utah and died in 1948 in uh, Salt Lake City. She saw me when I was born and she said that I looked like a little Indian because I had really black hair and that's what I remember most about her. She married Frederick Reed Curtis in 
1897 in St. George, Utah. Mary had eight uh, children and my grandma Nettie was the oldest of all those children. I believe this was taken in, in the 1900s be, uh, just because they were getting ready to uh, move to another uh, area and so they and the children were getting older and so he wanted a picture of of him with all his children. Uh, he was very known in the area of being, uh, he was the only musical talented person and he would play the violin at different parties and celebrations. So I know I have several um, second cousins that I am very friendly with on Facebook and one of them put this picture online and that's how I knew about it. And we were all very interested in genealogy and knowing about our relatives from the past. And so I wanted to restore it and, and share it with my family. Today I'm working on Peggy's photo of her great-grandmother. And that means that it's my great-great. Great? Do they seem to be the great? <laughs> you get it to be great. <sighs> working on Peggy's order and she wants me to make a collage of her dog. What is the most popular dog breed in the United States? A. Bulldog B. Yorkshire Terrier C. Labrador Retriever And the answer is C. Labrador Retriever Today is the reveal day for her pictures. Peggy, do you remember your pictures before? Yes. Okay. You asked us to make a collage of your dog, right? Right. Onyx. Okay, we make a collage for you. Tell me what do you think? Oh, very good. Because this is when he, he was she was a baby, and then pictures as she grow up, and then this is the last one. And see, I see you took the red out of her eyes because of mm -hmm. the flash. And we took all the stickers out. Yeah. So do you like it? Yeah, it was very good. You did a very good job. Okay. I really like it. I'm glad. So now we are going to show you the picture of your great-grandmother and your great-grandfather. Uh, this picture needs a lot of restoration, so I think now it looks wonderful. Oh, it does. It almost looks like a, an original. Yeah. Yeah. And, and be all excited because they can see them now, uh, what they looked like back then. Yes. Well, I'm glad you like it. This is the result. Uh, I brought it in on a flash drive and they did an excellent job, which you can see all the faces very distinctly. 
and they did a wonderful job for me. I also have a dog that I wanted them to, that I took the pictures of my dog, which I had in scrapbooks, and so there were a lot of stickers in that off, which they took off the stickers, and they made a collage. He was playing a trick on his wife by shaving off his beard. And thank you, Restore TV. You did a wonderful job for me.